Hello friends, I am Pola Shannal and you are watching about computers. In my channel, I was doing lots of technical videos about server, desktops and networks. So friends, if you like my videos, please like and share my videos and please 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 don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep watching my channel. So friends, after this short message, let's go. Start the topic. Hello friends, myself is Bala Sunlal and in this topic I will discuss about Windows XP2, Windows 7 migration. So migration is a topic about uh, backup your users and your user level files that is shared your computer and others. Uh, your my documents etc so uh, if you uh, format the hard disk so first uh, or if you install new ways windows 7 so first uh, um, migrate your windows xp to windows 7 so migrating the windows xp to windows 7 at first uh, insert C, uh, windows xp 7 cd in the, into the cd dump drive so I used a uh, Windows 7 CD into the CD down drive. See, here is my Windows 7 CD. So here is two uh, that is migration two that um, that is in Windows 7 CD. So to support and here is the option my migration result. So open this. For my uh, for testing this, uh, at first I creating the two uh, folders that is my desktop uh, for understanding migration is uh, okay or not. So this is the Windows migration wizard. So first there is the option migration wizard. The click. See there is a lots of system that is uh, transferred to your system user accounts, email, documents, internet favorites, music, videos, pictures and more. So that is uh, that will back up your computer. So click on next. There are three types of system easy and easy transfer cable. Uh, you can back up your uh, users for uh, pin drive or have your shared network drive so you can back up the uh, file in network drive or another is a your hard disk internal hard disk or in types of hard disk so i have a internal hard disk and i have a drive so i can click an external drive or usb flash drive click on this which is using now so this is my old computer so click on this See my user and share item will showing here. Now click on next. Here is a password that is security level. Anyone can store your user details. So, click on save. So Windows external hard disk or your uh, USB drive. So I can back up my back up this on my internal hard disk. Any name. You can type in name. So click on save option. Now my info informa user information is saved in a drive. And next is close.
see e drive is a backup.mig file that is installed in my computer now you can format it into the windows 7 now i can uh, format this windows into the windows 7 and after migrating the windows into the windows 7 Windows XP users. So now computer and install Windows 7. Now go to the boot options Boot CD ROM Now Windows 7 is starting to install Installing, I will continue the video. Now, Windows 7 is installed in our systems, uh, and see that is my backup file for migration. So, this is my new install system in uh, Windows 7. So, now I can migrate the Windows XP files to Windows 7. So Double click for backup file. Opening Windows as a transfer mode and enter the password you use to protect the file. So I can type the password and click on next option. See Windows XP users are seeing here. So there is a shared items and there is a user folder user that I can back up the windows XP so now click on uh, advanced option see there is a name user and I can creating a windows 7 user that is named student uh, users files will transfer in students folder or you can create a new user so I I can transfer the user's file to the a new folder that is name student. So click save and click on pass. So now my user is transferring in Windows 7. See what is transferred. You can see the word file is transferred in your systems and close and see there is a two uh, desktop files. One is a migrate file and another is a text file. This come in my Windows uh, uh, 